Fox 15's Marvin Zimler follows up on a student who learned a lesson the hard way. That teenager had a problem that bothered him for three years. Marvin? Well, the trouble started three years ago when a young man got his ears pissed. But all's well that ends well. Justin Smith has a smile on his face today, but when I first met the 16-year-old at school last semester, he wasn't smiling. His teacher said Justin shot away from other students because of the large tumor on his ear. And I think it bothers him more with self-esteem along with being uncomfortable on his ear because he but says it's getting larger. Justin lives with his grandmother, and when I learned she couldn't afford surgery to remove the tumor, I called in Dr. Joe Agris, who's helped me many times before. One visit to the doctor's office and a problem that started three years ago, when Justin's pierced his ear, was gone. He has a gene defect which says when I get cut or I get hurt, I have not stopped healing. No more earrings. Here's the reason for the big smile today. Looks real good. Has good shape, looks normal. No one would ever know. And Grandma says Justin is doing just fine. Mm -hmm. he's, 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 he's really doing good. Mm -hmm. He's going to school every day, doing his lesson. Mm -hmm. His self-esteem is up, so he's doing a lot better. A far cry from when we first met Justin at school. Kids used to make fun of me, used to tease me a lot. Now, they don't. I feel a whole lot better. I'm happier. Words can't even describe how, how happy I am. Well, I wish youngsters would think twice before they get their ears pierced because so many's got tumors on their ears, but to be honest with you, hearing a, I mean, hearings aren't for little boys anyway. Why I screwed this one up. <laughs> Marvin Zendler, Eyewitness News. We, we got the message, Marvin. Some days are like that. Thank, thank uh, you, Marvin. Sometimes you just can't speak correctly. That's true. That's true. It happens. Well, what a beautiful day in the city today.